Hello everyone, welcome to Harp Tuesday. It's Tuesday, January 17th, 2012, and it's Harp Tuesday. And this Tuesday, I'm gonna start a project that um, was suggested to me by somebody on, I think, Virtual Harp Center, the, the email list, or Virtual Harp uh, Circle, sorry, the email list, Yahoo group email list. And that was to take a, take a tune and, uh, arrange it and do a series of variations and and of course use that as a basis for talking about things like chords and fingering. So this is a bit of an experiment. I'm not sure it's going to work, but what I thought I would do is I would take a, a tune that you probably know, Green Sleeves, and try to do a sort of theme and variations. And this, what I'm looking at here, is just a little fake sheet that I made in Finale. And if you're not familiar with what a fake sheet is, it's where you have the tune and then chords. So that that's really all you need um, in order to sit down and, and fake it, right? If you don't know the song, they give you this fake sheet and you're able to play the song. So we have the tune running along here in treble clef and then the chords as well to let us know what we can do with our left hand. So I also have my handy dandy pencil and some notation paper. So I'm going to start by, uh, uh, we'll, of course, we'll want two stabs, and I'm pretty sloppy when I when I notate. Um, generally, depends on what you're going to be doing with it. If you're going to be reading from this, you know you probably want to be somewhat accurate. And for me, my general workflow is to, when I'm composing, is to notate it down as quickly as I can on paper, and then I will generally that that night transfer it to uh, to the computer into either Finale or um, Notion three, and so then as long as I you know as long as I remember for a short time what it is I'm scribbling down, then I'm okay. So uh, let's see, trouble and we might actually start trouble. So I'm just gonna start playing around. Of course, you know the you know the tune. some fun with that but <clears throat> let's see I think I'd like to maybe try to do some little little intro get it in there and then state the theme kind of simply that's my plan my sort of mindset right at the moment so what can we do So let's try to get that down. Um, interesting. So we're doing one and two and three, and even though green sleeves is in six eight, so but we have the emphasis there on the one and the two and the three. So I'm going to mark that all in the uh, treble sims down to Mark's left hand. Uh, let's see, I, I just, uh, I just stem that. 
with triplets and it shouldn't be so but I guess it's the hands part I'll just remember and you'll notice I was avoiding hitting that C as I move up and that's because the main uh, chords in this piece uh, are kind of the E minor and the D so the C doesn't fit in either of those so I, I just was avoiding that of course thing to do is to try this stuff right and just have fun and see see what you come up with so we got a D and that's still that's still down to the A and then same thing here in the left hand and the right hand goes up to this E and back down to the A and uh, Um, so there's my little scribbles. I you notice I don't have bar lines here because I'm not I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna put that into probably Notion three, I think, uh, maybe finale, and um, we'll figure out everything there. But I think we're good at the moment. So there's our little intro. That's our little intro. Um, I'll stick a bar in a line in there. Intro, and that's just sort of setting the mood here. Last three. Uh, are just um, just uh, quarters. Uh, write that in there. So there, there we have a nice little set of the moods. So now let's see. We're going to come in with this tune. I'm going to try it up here, an octave. I'm going to fiddle around with some harmonics, maybe, just to get a little interesting effect. We have this. I don't know if they're quarters or if it's just we're slowing down, but. So I'm not quite sure what I think about that. Kind of an interesting effect. The harmonic is is you know sort of a unique harp sound. So let's throw that in. Um, so let's see what are we gonna do here this is actually is treble and um, what is that oh this is an octave up sorry uh, I hate erasers I generally just cross stuff out um, I'm too impatient to sit and erase but uh, to each their own. Um, actually, I can just all notate this on one line, I think. And I'm sorry, this is obviously uh, somewhat slow. Try that with the um, 
with the left hand playing a harmonic and also reaching down to play this lower note non-harmonically or so that it's just played normally and I'm just gonna put a circle above there for a harmonic but yeah, if I were to you know I'll try to make sure that I especially if I were to give it to somebody else I would make sure that I would uh, indicate in the music that it's just the top note that's being played harmonically uh, being played as a harmonic um not harmonically oftentimes like to be precise you would write two harmonics if you wanted it played well it's a bit of a stretch let's let's say this uh, where is it if you wanted a double harmonic you would put two circles above those that chord but sometimes people will put one and you're never quite sure whether they actually want them both played as a, as a double harmonic or this where you get the and the the normal note on the bottom and the harmonic on the top so best to be super clear if you can So we're just gonna repeat. What I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna put etc on the top because I know what this tune is and I'm not changing it. And we'll just continue here on the um, on the bottom. Uh, Funk these guys in. Boink, boink. Uh, harmonics. And then I wasn't particularly happy with this um, with what I wanted done under this uh, end of this B minor passage so we get I'm not quite sure what I want done under that so let's see I kind of like having that oh suddenly here's this uh, lower note without a harmonic on top of it um, so let's stick that in uh, bars let's go etc and we've got um, uh, these guys harmonic and then we've got this one two three this um, low F without a harmonic and all of this stuff is just um, it's just coming from the the chord structure right so that any chord a typical chord without you know that's not a seventh or a sixth or a ninth or whatever has three notes in it uh, so for example here we are we got a G chord so it's got a G a B and a D and you can move it around but it's just consisting of those three notes so when we when our fake sheet says we have a G chord going we can play any of those notes and it's going to sound appropriate so again that's what I'm just fiddling around with trying to find you know which which of those notes works um, okay so we just finished that off and I think we're just probably going to repeat Okay, then we have this sharp stuff coming up.
that's kind of interesting. We'll, we'll end it. Uh, here, actually, this rhythm that I put it, that I have from this is. Um, but I kind of like sometimes. Anyway, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, so I'm going to re repeat. Uh, repeat. And then as we get this uh, E minor, uh, E minor B7 chord, or uh, bar, when we got these sharps coming in. Um, so I'm going to do that, uh, that I've been doing underneath there. And then I think this, like that. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna do this. And I'll mark the sharpen. And there we go. And then at the end, we are gonna do the left hand, one of these. And then we're just gonna, instead of the right hand playing that E again, we're going to, and I'm gonna put no right hand on H. So, okay, so there we have our first uh, half of the piece. And then, okay, finish that. And now I kind of want to change it up a little bit. this to start with but then I'm not sure that I want to keep it going throughout and I'm gonna throw this I think that sounds kind of nice uh, uh. I'm not quite sure how to get out of these without continuing them um, hmm. That transition works. Especially if I can hit those harmonics. Yeah, we're starting to get a little. I don't know if we want to get too carried away here on this first run through, um, but let's. I kind of like some of that, so. Let's see if I can notate some of that down. Um, so again, let's do, I guess I better get this right hand in. I'm gonna HBA it because I don't really wanna write it, have to write it way up there. Um, too many larger lines. So it looks like what we have is a dotted uh, eighth, and then there's this little dotted eighth, sixteenth into eighth um, pattern that we have. Uh, it occurs, right? We have that happening. Um, all over the place. Because sometimes you'll play something, right? You'll say, oh, that sounds nice. And, and then you have to figure out, okay, what's actually the rhythm Notes are usually easy, right? Because you're just playing it there as long as you can remember. But you also have to figure out what the rhythm is. So we'll just figure out that this little 
this little ornament, this little stuff that we've thrown in is that same rhythm. And boink, and I put it, etc. That this all then stays the same. And um, left hand. Don't really have room, so I'm going to have to open up this other staff as well. Um, and left hand is in treble, and it's going. So two sets of uh, sixteenths. Uh, up, just going up on this G chord. And I'm not going to worry about how many are. I'm not. I don't need a notch in these rests here because the beauty of doing something uh, like this to start with on paper as opposed to say at the computer is you're free to just put down whatever you want on the paper and it's not going to say hey we need to have the precise number of rests here and this bar doesn't this looks crazy you know you can just notate it down and of course you will want to sort of tidy it up by the time you get it ready to say print it or something like that but um, for the ease of putting some of your ideas down, there's nothing really that beats uh, pen and paper or pencil and paper. Okay, so we have hmm. So uh, originally I was thinking I would do a little bit of this again on the E minor, but I wonder if it works on the second beat of the D. So we get... I think it's, I think it's kind of neat to wait because we're kind of wanting to hear that again. And, and this is, saying, no, it's, no, no, no. Okay, there, finally, you get to hear that little it's a little running um, uh, 16th notes again. So right hand is going to stay etc. And left hand then we're just going to do. Uh, it's important to get that. Uh, that F to sound, the harmonic. Uh, kind of makes me want to maybe play this in uh, G flat. Uh, just because that string's a little longer, our harmonic's a little nicer, but we'll see. I actually, I do like the key of G for this. Um, G flat might be just too, uh, too, too dark and melancholy. Okay, so bum to dum, and then the first time on this E, I think we have that. That's not bad. So what we got? We got this, we got that, and then we got this E minor. So we're gonna start with the uh, so boink 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 some sixteenths and then this nice little uh, chord with a harmonic on top. This is etc. And then we're gonna have we're gonna throw in a little syncopation with uh, the little little rest 
and then that um, and I don't I think that's all we need in left hand that whole bar So, um, uh, okay. So, so, so what's happening here, we're going to do a slightly different, uh, funny little, uh, ornament. Notate that down, and I'll talk about it in a second. And in terms of that, I, I just felt ah, I wanted to do something different and, and then played around until I came up with something that I was happy with how it sounded. And that's, you know, that's the, the beauty of music is you can just keep experimenting until you find something. It's not like uh, painting, drawing, for example, is a lot more difficult once you've made some marks on the page there to, uh, to change it. Whereas here we can just, you know, we... Nothing's permanent. We, you know, we can experiment around, around. Okay, finally find something you like. The only trick is, of course, to to remember what it is then uh, when it comes time to put it down on paper. So let me just uh, finish this off. Then with the uh, then the right hand is going to be etc. From then on, left hand we're going to do uh, harmonics, and then we're going to actually do sixteenths, um, and then. And I think we did harmonics. Uh, this one, I, I, I just want eighth note, eighth note, eighth note, and not this dotted rhythm. Uh, I think all the way through. I'll check that on the right hand. Um, uh, and I'm just marking eighth notes there to remind myself. And then I think here, oh man, let's get some trouble with lines in there. Uh, I think here I just am fine with these harmonics and then the uh, B major uh, harmonic and then at the end what I liked was just walking up there so instead of that little you know we've heard these little running uh, three note patterns is 16th so this time it's just going to be eighths and slow us down a little bit uh, there we go so there we get ha <sighs> whoo half an hour so let me just try playing this and seeing how it sounds. So we have this little intro.
well, I wasn't able to quite, uh, a couple spots there where, um, I was going along nicely and then I stopped writing in the right hand over here. So I had to try to read from both of these, but I think that's not bad. Uh, interesting little start. And of course it's a piece that, oh man, you can do, you, it leads itself to want to do all sorts of great sort of, um, new agey stuff and, uh, uh, George Winston style. And, um, anyway, so I think we'll have some fun with that. So yeah, um, I'm going to go and watch this and see if it's not too, too slow, too boring. And if it's not, well, you'll get to watch it too. And I will see you in two weeks time. Cheers.